What's up, CP family? Welcome to another episode of the Complete Performance Audio Experience. This is an immersive podcast where we're going to give you a sneak peek inside an actual session that we did with our athletes on our online platform, the CP Portal. This week in the portal, the theme of the week was command, playing with command. And every time we do a session inside the portal, it follows a similar format, a similar method, a similar progression that we we do here at CP, and that's called mind-body stroke. Mind-body stroke. We start every session with a mental exercise, a meditation, or some type of message that expands the mind, expands awareness, brings attention to where your attention is and then we move to the body we move to feeling a certain way in the body activating the body engaging the body involving the body and then we move on to the stroke and we try to combine all these feelings while the racket is in our hand and we go through some shadowing exercises and things of that nature and that's pretty much the progression of all the sessions at least the core sessions that we do with our athletes and i wanted to share with you guys one of the sessions that follows this progression so you can get an idea of our method because there is a method to the madness take a listen this is coach andrew we pick up this little audio clip right after andrew leads the athletes in a meditation Um, so if you want to really involve yourself with this audio experience i would recommend just pausing right now taking a minute or two to sit with yourself in silence, maybe pay attention to your breath, then press play and you'll be right in there in the experience where the athletes are at in this little clip. So have a listen, enjoy, talk soon. We wanna play with command, we wanna play with certainty. I know each and every one of you are sick of the doubt that you might experience in your mind and the way that you move through that is by knowing why you step out on the court. And that knowing really arises from this place of connection with yourself. So look, you're connected with yourself. Now decide why you're going to step out on the court. What does it mean to play your game? to go for your shot. What does that actually mean to you? And just make it a feeling. It doesn't matter how it's gonna look. You don't need to plan that out. You don't need to even turn it into words. You don't need to explain it. You just need to feel it. I want you to feel what it feels like to step out on the court and know why you're stepping out on the court, to know that you're here to play your game, that literally the next time you step foot on a tennis court, you're gonna be reminded of this feeling that you're feeling within yourself right now. And that feeling is the feeling that you're gonna hold as an intention to play your game. And understand that you can actually dedicate your attention to that feeling and let go of all of these false responsibilities of how you're supposed to play. (laughs) And you can hit the ball from a a place of certainty because you know why you're here to play. So I want you to hold your intention in the form of a feeling how does it feel? How, how would it feel to step out on the court right now and play your game? How would it feel? Notice the singularity, how focused you can get when you know why you're stepping out on the court. There's no guesswork. There's nothing to figure out. That's certainty. So as you're sitting here, I want this feeling of body awareness 
and this feeling of your intention to play your game. How it feels to hold that intention. That no matter what happens throughout the entire time I'm spending on this court, an hour, two hours, three hours, match, practice, the entire length of the time that I step out on the court, next time I step out on the court, I'm gonna hold on to this feeling of what it feels like to have the intention to play my game. And as you sit here, I want you, I want those two things to just kind of merge together and blend this feeling of body awareness. Your body is ready to play your game. And your mind, your intention, you are here, you're ready to play your game. Both of those things at the same time. Feel it from that inner connection. How else do you think accomplishing great things happens besides focusing your energy? Focus on the feeling. Hold the intention to play your game. What does that feel like? Feel it in your body. Feel it as one feeling. The intention to play your game. Feeling that in your whole entire body and letting everything else go. Your game is worth fighting for. You want to go out on the court and play with command? This is the feeling. You hold this feeling and you allow this feeling to move through your voice. This feeling, I'm here to play my game. You speak your truth with every time you strike the ball every time you swing the racket. Staying connected to this feeling allows you to express yourself boldly, authentically, naturally, with ease, with precision, with power, with control, with presence. This feeling it's your feeling. Make it yours. Own it. This feeling belongs to you and you alone. You find it through your inner connection and you express it through your voice. Just feel all of that. Feel all that at the same exact time. The intention to play your game from this inner connection and you're ready to share it, to express it, to speak it to make it known to the world, to step out on the court and tell the world who you are. That's power. That's your pathway. That's the pathway to your goals. That's how you become your dream. That's how you live your vision. Slowly, slowly open your eyes and hold this feeling. Inner connection. I'm feeling my body. I know why I'm here. I'm here to play my game. And I'm gonna put all of my attention and all of my energy into that intention, into this feeling that keeps me anchored in this moment where the whole match happens, the whole game happens, where I tell the world who I am. I do it from this moment, from the inner connection. And our capacity to hold this determines everything. 
you're doing it, you're holding it. As you go through the ups and downs of the match, it's just a constant realignment to this feeling. Align yourself to this feeling. Come back to this feeling. Put more of your effort through this feeling. Let your heart find expression. Let your unique self find expression. Your game, the world doesn't know it yet. Tell the world who you are. Shape your game with every time you strike the ball. So what I want you to do is we can slowly stand up. You can grab a tennis ball, but hold this connection. Hold this feeling with yourself. That's some powerful stuff from Coach Andrew, who does a great job of really getting the athlete to experience something from a feeling standpoint, not just understanding it, not just, not just intellectually understanding it, but really feeling really feeling it, which is a core part of what we do at CP. And with pretty much all of our core sessions, we always end it with the athlete picking up their racket with a feeling and doing some swings, doing some swings that facilitate the message that we're conveying. For example, this week is command, playing with command. So I'm just gonna play a short little clip of Andrew priming the athletes to pick up the racket and take this with them onto the court, have a listen. Good, and for the next six or seven minutes, we're gonna take everything we did in the session so far, and we're gonna plug it into this ball. Feeling your body, feeling the connection with your body, and feeling your connection with the ball at the same time because this is what happens when you do that. If I'm connected with my body, this is where my power is coming from. And I'm connected with my attention to the ball. That's where my power is going. If I'm connected to where I'm coming from and where I'm going, the process of transferring my power into the ball, the, trans the, the process of speaking my truth and hitting the ball with greater levels of certainty is rising as I hold an awareness of my body and I hold an awareness of the ball at the same time. Let's have fun with it. Let's explore it and let's have fun with it. So I want you to feel this feeling, this intention in your body. You're here. You know why you're here. You know why you're stepping on the court. You're here to play your game. Stop perpetuating the lies within your mind that you have to do all this stuff or you need to be different than who you are. You have to be something other than who you are. You don't have to be. You just step out on the court as yourself and you know why you're here. And you take that feeling and you put it into every single ball that you hit. And then you see what happens. Like we're talking magic's gonna start coming off your racket. Let's hold that possibility open and let's let it rip. Go ahead guys. Let's have fun with it. Awesome stuff there from Coach Andrew. That's a perfect example of mind, body, stroke in action and enabling and empowering these athletes to actually go out on the court and be a certain way. Be a certain way. Super powerful stuff. If you're interested in learning more about these sessions, our online platform, the CP Portal, and want to join us in this groundbreaking stuff, check us out mindbodystroke.com talk to you soon peace love rejoice is a sort of dignified elizabethan but it says play and saint thomas aware of this said that the divine wisdom was above all to be compared with games because games are played for their own sake, not for any ulterior motive.